Twitter is jumping into the live video streaming with its brand new app, Periscope. And uh, here it is, John Steinberg's giving a tour of the Daily Mail offices right now. now Me Meerkat did comment on this launch saying, the fact that now live video is part of the conversation is most exciting for us, and we don't think there will be just one winner. It's healthy for there to be a lot of players involved for it to become mainstream. Now our own Julia Borston talked to the CEO of Periscope and joins us live in L.A. with the details. Julia. Thanks so much, John. That's right. The big question here is whether Periscope can catch up with Meerkat's first mover advantage. We are Periscoping right now. The app alerted my Twitter followers and started a public live stream. Now, differentiating from Meerkat, which is only live public broadcasts, Periscope videos are available for 24 hours. They can be saved to a personal library, and you have the option of broadcasting privately to just a small group. CEO Kayvon Bakepour says that Periscope is faster than Meerkat, making posting comments or sending hearts more engaging. If you're watching me broadcast and I'm giving you a tour of my office, you can say, hey, Kayvon, take me to that room over there. And two seconds later, I take you there. And that makes you, as a viewer, kind of like in the director's seat. It makes you feel like it's not really a live stream. It's like a teleportation device. Plus, Periscope has the advantage of Twitter's deep pockets. Bakepour says that live video is a natural extension of Twitter's real-time network. We think Periscope can be like this real-time visual pulse of what's happening around the world. And to me, that's what Twitter is, but just through 140 characters rather than live video. And I think when we realized that that alignment was, was there, we realized that, you know, that the marriage of these two companies could help us make our vision a reality much more quickly. Periscope is launching without ads, but there's certainly potential for brands to interact or pay to promote their streams, just like they can pay to promote Twitter accounts or tweets. So it'll be interesting to see what happens next. Hey, YouTube fans, I'm Landon Dowdy from CNBC. Thank you so much for checking out our channel. You can subscribe by clicking right here to check out the latest Mad Money CEO interviews, market news, financial advice, and product unboxing. Enjoy. Enjoy.